There is a big problem with cheating on F122, with loads of accusations flying around, loads of supposed proof of who may or may not be cheating. And rather than just add my voice to all of that noise, I've decided to do something a little bit different and figure out how easy it is to actually cheat on the F122 game. So there is an anti-cheat in F122, but it's very, very basic. You may have seen me previously do game file modifications where I might give myself double horsepower or one lap tire life, but those mods don't work online. If you as soon as you try and go online, it just says, you know, you're kicked or you're banned or whatever it is. They just don't work. So however people are cheating, they're going about it in a different way. And clearly the anti-cheat isn't working as it should. But just how easy is it to do that? If it's supposedly so prevalent and so many people are using it, even on leagues where there's not any actual prize money on offer, is it really that easy? This video is sponsored by NordVPN, but you've probably already seen a VPN ad before, so I won't bore you with the usual talking points. How about I talk about what I personally use NordVPN for and why I'm partnering with them and recommending you give them a go with the link down in the description. The main thing I use NordVPN for is to change my digital location so I can access services for another country. For example, if I'm on holiday, I can use NordVPN to change my location back to the UK to access the services that I'm subscribing to. You can also use NordVPN to access certain live sports sports that may not be available on the platform you want them to be in your country. I'll leave that one there, but it is useful. But NordVPN gives you so much more than just location changing options. Your internet traffic is protected from the prying eyes of your internet service provider or your government, which isn't tracked at all by NordVPN. They even have multiple packages that include their password manager NordPass or their cloud storage option NordLocker. So give NordVPN a go with the link below now. They're offering four months free with a two year subscription. They even offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not 100% satisfied, you can get a full refund. Give it a go. In a previous version of this video, this segment featured with hindsight far too much detail on how to find and download this mod. The reason I did that previously was because it was pretty openly publicly available, so I figured it was in the public domain anyway, but a lot of people disagree and I'm more than happy to be wrong on this. And yeah, with hindsight, I think uploading was effectively a step-by-step -step guide on how to cheat, probably isn't right. So just that suffice it to say that this cheat is easily freely available on Google. It comes with a guide. It's just easy to get, which is the point of the video. I'm not going to give you a step-by-step -step, step -step guide on exactly how to do it, but just know it is far, far too easy to find and install this mod. Okay, so we should now have 125% of the normal power. So 25% power increase. I will say it does seem a bit quicker in a straight straight away. Okay, so Delta still going up and now it's coming down. So we definitely have got more power. Now the question is, can we change things live? It seems to imply that we couldn't. So what if we now go, actually, I want more grip. Double the grip. Give, give me double grip. Oh my word. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. And it does work instantly. So you don't need to, whatever it was at the start, you don't have to do it before you launch the game, it seems. Well, no, it seems to be working. So let, let's do all that again. Let's relaunch it. Let's apply maybe 25% more grip and just go into an online lobby and just see if we can just race other people with an unfair grip pack. What are we going to do? Let's give ourselves some power. What I don't really want to do is make people think I'm clearly cheating, maybe it reported, get banned. I'm obviously also not going to win. I'm going to retire for the end of the race against real people. And we're going to join a random lobby. I'm actually going to do the elimination event. Reason being that there isn't really a host for this. Everything's fixed. Everyone's got the same cars. Everyone's got the same setup. Um, so if we're quicker in the straight, it is purely because of the mod. This would be a very clear way to see it. Straight away, we've been allowed in the lobbies. That's a good start. Previously, we didn't even get this far, but obviously we don't know at the moment if the mod is going to actually work on track. All right, here we go then on the grid here uh, with my mods. Remember, the only thing I've changed... Ooh. The revs are different. The only thing I've changed is the engine power. 25% more engine power. Everything else is absolutely identical. So if we're quicker these guys in the straights, it's only because of the mods. We seem to gain a little bit there, but not a massive amount. Yeah, very good. Oh, there's da as if there's damage on with this game mode. I mean, I am gaining, I suppose, but not by as much as I thought I would. It seems to have sort of broken the gears a little bit. It seems to hold the revs, doesn't it, in the, in the middle of the gear for some reason. There, look. Why does it hold the revs? It's almost like the clutch is slipping. Maybe the clutch is slipping. Maybe we've got too much power for the clutch. So maybe that's holding us back a little bit. I'm not too sure. Let's just try a massive grip pack. We're not going to do it for very long. We probably will be, I don't know, reported. We don't want to get our whole account banned because we're doing this. Obviously, this is a silly session anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's try double grip. Be careful not to launch off the grid. Oh, yeah, because I could probably can get no wheels for it at all. Just try have a slightly worse start than everybody else. It did feel pretty grippy. Not put yeah, okay, I have. I definitely have. It's just not sliding. It's completely planted to the ground. Again, I just got to be a bit cautious not to show people the grip I've got. I'll maybe do it in one corner. We'll show our hand in the next turn, and then we'll pull over and leave these guys to enjoy their race. Yeah, that's that's 
clip. Oh, I have just ruined someone's race, unfortunately. Clearly, we've got double grip there. Went on the outside. I did hit him, though. That, that I wanted to avoid that. It's a bit annoying that I've just taken that guy out. We, we, we're going to leave, guys. We, we're going to leave there. We're going to retire as well, just so even my, my car doesn't carry on. Because I don't know if the AI would have that, uh, you know, double grip. So we've established that it is quite easy to cheat in the F122 game. Although obviously we went quite extreme with it um, just to show off what was possible. But obviously if you're going to do it in a league race or especially in something like esports, you might only do like 0.1% of maybe additional grip just to obviously to go undetected. If you went as crazy as I did, obviously you'd be found out very, very quickly. But why would people use this cheat? Well, I mean, it ranges from just having some fun, just seeing what it'd be like to have double grip. You know, I've done this myself in the videos, obviously not in online serious races, but it is sometimes fun just, just to see what it's like to have extra power power extra grip. Obviously, if you're using it in a more competitive environment, the advantage could be potential prize money. You know, esports has hundreds of thousands of dollars on, on the table for prize money. So there's a very real tangible financial benefit to potentially cheating in F122. So that's why you might use the cheat, but why does the cheat exist? Well, interestingly, the very day I recorded this, the creator of the very cheat I used did an AMA on Reddit. So let's hear from him directly on some of the reasons why he made it and how it works. He explains here that the anti-cheat in F122 basically works by taking a screenshot when the game is very very first launch and periodically checking against those values. So it might have a value of X when you first launch the game. And if that value changes to Y while the game is open, it essentially realizes you're cheating and kicks you from the game. But as we've seen, the way the cheat works is to pause the game when it's launching, but crucially before it's taken that sort of screenshot. So essentially you modify the game, you might give yourself 50% extra grip, then you allow the game to launch, which it then takes a screenshot including the cheat. And then when it checks periodically after that, of course, it's checking against an already incorrect value. So as long as it remains still incorrect and the same value, the game doesn't think you're cheating. He also gets asked here, well, why have you made this? Why have you released this? A definitely a fair question to ask, but his answer is actually very, very good. First of all, he says he releases the full source code, so you can see that it's not malware, it's not going to, you know, take over your computer or anything like that. Um, and also, he says, basically, to combat the people that are making money from this. You know, we've seen there is cheats that charge 60 euros plus to, to, to allow you to cheat. That's a lot of money, and they're making money off of practice that we don't want to see in the game. So at least, hopefully, by releasing a free version, it at least stops the profiteering from it, and also to be honest, makes it more public. It makes it more available so that hopefully this encourages the developers to create a proper anti-cheat that completely stops this from working rather than just keeping it behind a paywall. He also gets asked how deep the rabbit hole goes. And I think this is basically a question to ask is everyone using this? Is everyone cheating? Obviously, although this has only been recently released for F122, this has been possible for years. And just because it's only just been released publicly doesn't mean that some of the teams may have got their own version working in the exact same way that this is working. It doesn't seem a massively complicated or unique workaround and, and possibly not even new. But essentially what he says, and, and I agree with it, is that there's no real use accusing people unless it's obviously, and you've got absolute 100% proof that they are cheating. Because just because someone's a little bit faster than you, doesn't mean they're cheating. You may analyze video evidence and all these other things, but there's so many variables of racing, even in you know F1, which isn't the most sim game in the world, that it's just impossible to tell. He also gets asked how many esports players he thinks is cheating. And he said he believes 70% has cheated or is cheating. Now, I think that number's a little bit high, I have to say, but the problem is we just don't no, there is no anti-cheat. There is no way of detecting this right now. If someone applies a 0.1% or less grip gain, you're not telling me that you can tell that someone's using that from a video footage. Even if you scan the game files and stuff, it's almost impossible to see. It's almost impossible to detect. He also says that it's not impossible to cheat on console. Honestly, this was news to me. I thought it was pretty much impossible to cheat on console, but he's saying it is possible, just a lot harder. So even consoles aren't safe from this. So we've established in this video then that cheating is a very real problem on F122. The developers EA has to develop an anti-cheat for F123 because otherwise we're just never going to know. It really is casting a huge shadow over the whole of the esports series. Even if it goes LAN in 2023, which I think it may do, which will help, you still never know because all the qualifiers and stuff still happen on people's local computers. So it, it's not really a solution. It helps, but it's not a solution. An anti-cheat, a proper proper anti-cheat that is almost impossible to get around is what is absolutely needed. And what will that look like? Well, I'm not a developer. I, I don't know. I don't know what the best way to do it is, but there will be a way to just detect, hey, this person's got some abnormal looking levels of grip in certain ways. We think this guy is cheating if you're the developer and only if you're the developer.
and therein lies the issue. Hopefully EA do get this sorted very, very soon. It needs sorting. It's getting out of hand. There's so much debate and there's so much accusations flying around. Nobody needs that drama. Come on EA, let's get this fixed. Let's get a proper anti cheat in F123. Anyway guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this content. I make all kinds of content like this uh, on this channel. So do sub and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.